Good morning, and this is your host, Jude Aquino, in this new edition of MasterChef Home Quarantine Edition. This edition is so much different from the past few years. We are all facing a pandemic. Therefore, we can't really have a face-to-face contact with each other. Therefore, our team thought of this idea of teaching you from your own homes the basics of cooking. Our team searched all throughout the Philippines for students who have potential in teaching us the basic methods or the basic preparation techniques for cooking. So here is each and every one of the students that my team have found. And let's get to know each and every one of these students. Hi, I'm Dennis Tiabian. Hello, my name is Erin Chloe Atendido. Hi, I am Luis Rangi Batara. I'm Dian Chica. I am Alicia Nicolette C. De Leon. Hi, I am Emmanuel M. Febinito. What's up? Gabrelli Montalvo here. I am Marcelo Casmontano. My name is Francesca Eliza Arnaco. My name is Gabriel John Martinez Rodon. I am Jessica Kathleen Santos. Dominic Yabut. Hi, I'm Maria Sofia Valencia. Now that we all know their names, let's get started. Today, we're gonna learn about the preparation terms. What are these and how are these important to all of us? So these preparation terms are much important because these can help your dishes to be more sumptuous and to be more delicious. So let's start for the first preparation technique. Today I will teach you the chopping method that we will use for our dish today which is chicken afritada. So right here, I bought from the supermarket is the chicken that we will be using. As you can see, this chicken is too big of a portion for our dish which is the chicken afritada. So here we will use the chopping method where we will chop it into a portion that is appropriate for our dish. The, you, we will have to chop or slice the flesh first because in between, inside it, there's bones and flesh. A force or a striking motion, we will chop the chicken in two. So as you can see, Gabriel applied the chopping method, which is cutting the meat into smaller square pieces. We will get back to him in, in minutes, but for now, let's get to the second preparation technique. So Rain is showing us how can we slice this meat into thinner pieces. This means that slicing is cutting or slicing food into thinner and smaller pieces. This also means that we can create other types of slicing like diagonal slicing that can make our food even better and even more presentable. Let's get on to the third preparation technique. So 
So what Chelsea is doing is the mincing method. The mincing method is very different from the other slicing methods because the mincing method is slicing or cutting food and meat items into small or tiny pieces. It is also done by machines but as you can see right now, Chelsea is doing it manually by knives. Let's get on to the fourth method. So for, it, for our fourth example, Gabriel is doing the pairing method. The pairing method is trimming a fruit, for example, in their outer sides or their outer parts. And this cutting technique is preferred for fruits that which cannot be eaten with its outer part. Let's get on to the fifth demonstration. The Julian method, or commonly called as the French cut, is a culinary knife cut in which the food item is cut into uh, long thin strips. So it is used commonly for carrots, for celeries, and for potatoes. But for this demonstration, we have the carrots that is being cut by the end. And let's get on to the sixth example. So the short method is the grinding method. The grinding method is the method of breaking down any food into food particles. It can be done in almost any food because of the technology that we have today. But the most used tool is the one that dates back from the ancient Egyptians. And this is the mortar and pestle. Let's move on to our seventh preparation demonstration. So the next technique is the pounding technique showed by Emmanuel. It is the mean of repeatedly pounding the meat with the flat side of the mallet in which makes the meat tender and easier to digest. Let's move on to the eighth preparation technique. So the eighth term is the grating technique. This technique involves reducing your food into smaller particles using a grater. It is commonly used for cheese and other vegetables that can be shred. Let's move on to the ninth preparation technique. Our ninth term is the mixing technique showed by Lucas. It is a general term that includes stirring, beating, blending, or other techniques. It is the process whereas two or more are evenly dispersed with one another. They can form different mixtures as well. Let's get on to the 10th preparation technique. Our 10th term includes blending, which is very similar from mixing, but they are different from one another. Because blending is also combining two or more ingredients or substances together, but to form a smooth mixture. Blending means to mix substances together smoothly so that they are inseparable. So now, Let's get on to the 11th term. So our 11th term is beating. It includes the act of mixing or stirring ingredients rapidly. And it is commonly used for egg whites that can be beaten until they are light Let's get on to our 12th term.
while beating is an act of mixing or stirring ingredients rapidly. Whipping is intended to include or incorporate air in the food or in the ingredient being whipped. It is also to beat food with a whisk or a mixer to produce volume. Let's get on to our last preparation technique. So steering for me is the simplest of them all because it is just mixing a substance or substances in a circular pattern with utensils. It is commonly used with liquids. So I personally think all of these two things who participated in our home quarantine edition. I hope you're doing fine in your own homes. I also want to thank everyone who are watching in their homes, in their TVs, and may God bless you always. This is Jude Aquino, your host, and this is MasterChef Home Quarantine Edition. We will get back to him in, in minutes. And here's the finished product, our chicken afritada. Thank you and good day.